Hi Scorpions, this is Mary Shea and I'm Shaloka. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me. Scorpions out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is it that you need to hear from me? Just one more time. Scorpions out there. Wow. weren't easy okay within this commitment relationship again okay, whatever this is for you the two of cups it was not easy because with the ten of wands it has been difficult it has been a challenging journey so far things are not going well within this relationship could be a job situation as well, okay? The commitments. It's not going well. It's not working out at the moment. All right. Uh, some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian or probably a Sagittarius. Scorpions and the what is your next card, please? Okay. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian or a Gemini. You might have a family together. You might have... Um, a business together because there is finances also attached okay children together you're very much emotionally invested into this commitment all right because earlier they showed me the ten of wands now it is a ten of pentacles that's all about you know going the full circle Again, you have been into this for a very long time. You have invested into this relationship for a very long time. All right? Yes, it feels like something has come to a complete full stop. When I'm looking at this death card, ooh, the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, all three cards in reverse. Upright, it would have been a different story. But in this story, it completely makes sense. Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in this deck. Okay? Eventually, it will reach its destination. But when it's in reverse, it's like it's not going anywhere. For me, it's a dead horse. You know, you kick it, still it's not going to get up. So something has come to a full stop. Ace of Cups is a beautiful cup full of love. Okay? That is what these two are offering each other. But for you, the Ace of Cups is in reverse. Whatever was there, it's not there anymore. It is an empty cup. That card in reverse. Again, it's like six feet under the ground. It's like, you know, it's complete dead end. It's not going anywhere. There is no transition. There is no transformation. That's how, uh, how bad things are. So it might not be for each and every one of you. But somebody out there, this message is for you. Some of you might be dealing with a scorpion, another scorpion. Someone is still holding on to whatever has happened. It could be the grudges, you know? And this person is like not thinking with the heart anymore. They are like, you know? Someone is still holding on to something, okay? Um, it could have been what the other person had done to you. Because when I'm looking at this hermit, it's like, you know, shining the lamp in the dark. So there is something which you are aware of and you're keeping it close to your chest. 
And I feel like the other person doesn't know what you know, what you are aware of. So it's almost like this person is turning very icy. Earlier, she was a queen of cups. Now, like she, this person is very compassionate, very loving, has so much to give. She's a giver, she's a nurturer. But then when, when your story is shifting, you're coming through as a queen of swords. For me, she's an icy queen. She doesn't let her hat or her emotions, you know, take over or cloud her judgments. She has to be very uh, straightforward. She, she cannot be biased with uh, her decisions. And I feel like you have learned something which was going in the dark. You know something and you're holding on to it. That is why you are shifting from this queen to the queen of swords. Five pentacles, this is how bad things are. Okay, it's, it's almost like it's just confirming because for me, this card is all about desert, you know, uh, being deserted out in the cold. You're not on the same page anymore. This is what you might have learned. Again, okay? they might have done something which, you know, puts you in this position. Separation. All right. Some of you might be dealing with the Taurus. Scorpions out there. What is your next card, please? Page of Wands. There is something about, you know, um, putting it out there. Okay, there is something about second chances as well. Yeah, but things are in this limbo situation, stagnant situation. But then somebody feels like there is a potential. I don't know who, but somebody thinks like there is a potential to have a second chance, to renew the situation, to have that transformation. Although I saw everything has come to a full stop, you know, things are not in a good place. You know, the love is not there. It's not going anywhere. It's, it's a dead end. But somebody, maybe the other person is hoping for a second chance. Okay, a renewal, a rebirth from how things are right now. They might be reaching out because this card is a messenger energy. They might be reaching out to have a second chance. Okay. To be back together because right now I feel like you are not together anymore okay things are stagnant with that five pentacles I told you you're out of the gold you're separated but somebody is reaching out to get back together all right now uh, scorpions are there what is your next card please This person is very stressed out. You are losing your sleep over what has happened. Yes. This queen who has turned into the queen of swords still cannot get over what has happened because this person is still focused on the three cups which has fallen. She is still focused on the spilt milk, what the other person has done to you. So something has come to light. When I showed you that hermit, I told you about something being, uh, you know, you being aware of something. And that is what, you know, you're holding on to. That is why, uh, you know, things have come to this. Okay? You are still focused on the spilled milk. What has been lost. What has happened. Okay? You're losing your sleep over all this. Very stressed out. When I'm looking at this Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups is all about your emotions. And emotionally, you're not in a good place. Just because of what they did to you. Alright, some of you might be dealing with a Gemini or a, another Scorpion. 
What is your last card, please? You might have a family together, but things have come to the stagnancy, okay? With this relationship, things have come to a complete, you know, limbo situation. There is nothing much happening between the two of you. Even though you might have children, another, it's an, oh yes, he just broke the card. You might be living together as well, okay? Just for the sake of the children, but between the two of you, everything has come to a full stop. That's unfortunate. Because I get the feeling you might have children together. Living under the same roof, somebody still wants to have this second chances, but someone is really uh, feeling betrayed. Okay? That's it. That's it, Scorpions. I wish you luck. So until next time, this is Marishi on my channel, Shiloka. Bye-bye.